Yahweh. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to say, call Halai and lie, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukak Wadash. So, like, it's double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone. Taught us the truth, peace, and mercy unto the Lord's elect. And, uh, don't make decisions out of haste, man. Don't make decisions out of, uh, don't make decisions when you're angry, right? This is part of, part of being in the truth is having rule over your spirit. Having rule over your spirit. Having a sound mind. The Lord said he did not, he did, what did the Lord say in Isaiah 33 and 6 says, Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right? So the wisdom and knowledge of this truth keeps you stable in the mind keeps you grounded, rooted, all right, living in reality, okay, Let, you cannot make a decision, man or woman, all right, you cannot make decisions based off of emotions, based off of, uh, 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 which we all have emotions, but you can't let that be the, um, that you can't let that be the determining factor on your decision making process man all right as a, as a, as an individual as an adult as you know whatever you want to whatever you want to uh you know what i'm saying as as a as a, especially as an israelite in the truth you know you you know when you're an israelite you coming back into the faith right you coming back to knowing you're an israelite we are getting all this information knowledge and all that we are getting the mysteries the lord's dealing with us opening our eyes and the lord and one of the things you should be working on or praying on is your discernment, your spirituality, all right? Your, 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 obviously, you know, it's your faith, you know, your integrity towards Yahweh Bashim as a man, all right? You're supposed to be, you're supposed to carry yourself a type of way, right? Especially being in a faith, okay? And as uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying you have duties that you have to that you have to abide by. By how about you? have to keep the command. You have to keep his commandment. You have to do what he's. You know, what I'm saying you have to do what he told you to do. Go out there and teach my word on them highways and byways. All right. Go out there and prophesy. You know, keep the faith. Keep the high holy days. Keep 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 the, the Sabbaths, man. Keep the new moons. All right. Keep the ordinances that I gave you, all right, from generation to generation, so that you will be blessed as a people, all right. But it starts with the men, all right. The women, their roles is more simple, you know. A woman, a woman's role is more simple, you know. All she got, all she really has to do is, you know, obviously keep these commandments and honor her husband, honor her children, and you know, abide by them, clean the house, you know what I'm saying? Do her, do her womanly duties, and the Lord, will, the Lord will have favor on you, man. The Lord will have, you know what I'm saying? Lord will have favor on you. The Lord will, 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 will smile upon you, you know, as a woman, if you're doing what a woman's supposed to be doing, all right, especially in the faith. Okay, so, yeah, don't, don't, like, man or woman, you don't make decisions out of haste, man. You don't make decisions out of uh, uh, emotion or feeling or whatever, man, all right? The scripture say, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. All right, you might be angry, man. You might say shit. You might be angry, whatever the case may be. That's why a lot of people are behind bars, especially the you know men. They put their hands on a woman and all this shit. If you have to get to the point where you put your hands on your woman, first of all, she don't respect you. She's not your woman, and you got to get up out of there because you you get to that point where you got to beat the shit out of her to get her to comply or listen to you or you know what I'm saying, to get her in order. That that there's there's no uh there's no point in that because you're gonna get yourself in trouble. You're gonna, uh, you know, cause problems with you and her, maybe her family, her children, whatever, man, the children, whatever. You're gonna cause yourself more issues. You know what I'm saying? It might feel good to smack the shit out the bitch in, at the moment, but that's not. That's you gotta think with your head. You gotta think with up here with the brain. The Lord put this up here for a reason. You think before you fucking do things, man. You contemplate what the fuck you about to do. You know, you you. you you think about the ramifications of what you're going to do, okay? If I do this, this is going to happen, boom, 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 you know? Or if I say this, you know, if I do this, 
You know, it's a cause and effect to everything. They teach you that in school, right? See, but the Holy Spirit of discernment, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, um, is, 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 is part of being in this truth. The Holy Spirit is a separate spirit from the world, so we're able to identify, you know, bad habits, characteristics, and, uh, you know, things of that nature, man. That's a bad, that's a bad characteristic to, to be making decisions out of haste. That's why the Lord is setting us up to be the, 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 the future rulers and kings and priests of the earth. The people of the world, they might say we ain't shit and we ain't nothing to, you know, laugh about. We ain't nothing to cry about, you know, whatever. You know, we ain't high value, man, and all this shit. But the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, is, is creating kings, a nation of kings, priests, you know, and rulers, gods, man, on the earth. Starting with the men, man, you know? That's what that's what that's why the, the Lord said I will build I will build the tabernacle of David as it was of old, man. He's rebuilding the tabernacle of David, man. Okay. And the tabernacle of David, those those rulers, those kings, those priests that are gonna sit on the throne just twelve tribes of Israel, they have to have a spirit of discernment on it, man. You can't have the spirit of a uh, you know you can't have the spirit of this world, man. You know? Flippy wishy wishy washy, you know. One day this, one day that, you know, no, not stable, man, not rooted. The scriptures say a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. That goes for men and women. Unstable, man. You can't be unstable, man. You know, you're unstable. You're you're like you're like the uh, you like the trouble sea, as scriptures say, man. If you're unstable, man, that's that's not good. It's gonna end up it's gonna end up your with your death. All right, one way or another. Cause you're gonna make a poor decision one day, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna take a wrong turn, you know, in your life, you know, or literally, you know, and then you're undecisive, you're bugging out, you're all this, you know. And mainly, you see these characteristics with women, you know. You know, the men is not supposed to be like that, all fucking sensitive and, you know what I mean, wavering and and all that, you know. And that's just the truth, you know. These, the, the, the women have those characteristics, being emotional, you know changing like the wind all right but as you grow in the faith you, you, you start to develop rule over your spirit man you start to be able to control your emotions and your fucking uh uh, uh you know your, your shortcomings man as a, as, a, as a person because we all have in this flesh we all have uh things that we that we that we're lacking that we're lacking in departments that we're we're lacking in man things that Things that uh, are not right about us. And when you come to the truth, those things are exemplified. Those things are magnified, man. Okay, because the Lord's dealing with... The, the Lord is showing you what's wrong with you. The Lord is showing you, like, look, man. You know? When you come back to this, to, to, to me and repent and sorrow, and sorrow, it's basically like you can... Those demons exercise up off you. So... It's a it's a process where you where you have to uh, suffer, man. You have to you have to you putting off an old that old man. You you old, old woman. You're putting off that old man or old woman. You're you're coming. It's like a it's like a drug addict, man. And rehab, right? That's why I did the video the other day called Spiritual Rehab. Um, and don't relapse back into the world. A, a crackhead or a, you know cokehead, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Heroin addict. These these individuals. They. Um, they get, they get withdrawal system, heavy withdrawal systems, symptoms, man, where they want to fucking do the drug again, even though they've been clean for some months or whatever, two weeks or whatever, years, that they might relapse and, and, and fall back. And all that progress that they made is, is, is just, it's just out the window. And that's the same thing with this truth. A lot of, you know what I'm saying? A lot of individuals, they relapse, man. They go back into the world because they, then demons start calling them their friends or you know what I'm saying? Where somebody pulls them back into the world, you know, a, a dude that they're dealing with or, you know, a woman maybe pulls them into the world because they're not rooted in Yahweh Shai. That's why you have to make what Yahweh Shai your refuge. All right? Because the Lord said what? I, that he will sup with you and he will increase you. But you have to put your trust in the Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Did not the Lord say, I'm the way, the truth, and the light? No man coming to the Father but by me. So, in order for the Lord to, in, in order for the Lord to be with you, and to give you the Spirit, and to, and, to, and to to help you, you have to believe. You have to be sincere. 
right? You have to believe, you have to be humble. And you have to, you know what I'm saying? You have to be humble. That's another thing. You have to be humble. You have to have humility. Alright? Can't nobody say shit to, 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 to Jake. Because, oh, it's a problem. Oh, it's this, it's that. You're judging me. Oh, oh, it's those demons that's inside of the, the, the people that won't allow them to, you know, com convert, fully convert. Or, you know, deal with those, with those, those, uh, you know, bad thoughts that they have. Or, you know what I'm saying? The depression. And, you know, that the all of that the all the baggage that Jake comes with, you know. All the because Jake comes with baggage, man, you know. Because of because of the curses in this society. Because of the experiences that they've that they've had. You know? So then they drag that in, you know, in, 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 in with the rest of their life and it affects their decision making, man. It affects their their ability to think, process things the right way, you know, because they're da damaged, man, you know. Jake is damaged. Our people are damaged, man. Up and down, up and down. You know? Men, women, children. Okay, that's why the Lord said those that are those that are sick uh, have need of a physician. That's what the Lord came to call. You know, the Lord came to call those that that are that are that are that are sick, man. They need a, need a and they need a physician, literally. We're, yeah, we're physically sick, but really we're spiritually sick, mentally sick. That that that's the real sickness, because these bodies are temporal, as we always say. So, the real sickness is, is is of the mind, is of the spirit, man, of the soul. Your soul is not clean, man. Your soul is is just it's it's it's, it's just dirty, it's, you know. Until you come into this faith, and the Lord washes you with the Word, man. The Word washes you, and you become a clean vessel, fit for the Master's use. Whatever that may be, you as a man, you may be a prophet, you may be a helper, you may be a reader, you may, you know, you may be a teacher, whatever you may be, all right? You may be a scribe, whatever. As a woman, you know, you're, you're fit now, as a woman now, you're fit for the master's use. Now you're a woman that's able to be mar marriageable, man. You're able to be married, you're fit to be a wife, you know, because the reality of the situation is that the majority of the women of today are not fit to be wives, man. They're not fit to be wives. They're just fit for fling, flings and, you know, temporary things, you know. That's just the truth. All right. But when the Lord comes and subs with you and gives you that spirit, you know, and, 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 he, and he opens your mind, you know, he, he's cleansing you. He's working with you. Right. You're, you're able to become fit for the master's use. Now you're fit for the master's use, man. Now you're now you're no longer undesirable in the eyes of the Lord, man. Because the Lord has is working with you. He's, 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 he, he's molding you into what he wants you to become. All right? You sound like a Christian pastor, man. But, yeah, that's just the truth, man. All right? The Lord is, is, is working in order to... In order to... Um, to weed out them, 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 them demons off, off, of his, off of those that he... You know, off of his elect. Off of his, off of his chosen... Um, the chosen few of, of the nation of Israel. All right, because those are the ones that are going to get delivered from the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, for the time of World War Three, you know, for the time of um, from the time of the destruction of America, you know, and all these calamities is going to take place on the planet Earth. You know, so like. So um, my fault. Um, I've been, uh, you know, I've been, I've been speaking through the spirit, but I just wanted to uh, touch on a few scriptures here and just close it out because that's the that that's the um, that's the thing. You have to pray for a spiritual discernment and not and not allowing Satan to get the best of you because the scripture say what. We battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. You know, we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, man. We battle. This is a spiritual fight. The scripture say the, the flesh um, the, the, is a spirit that quickens up the flesh, profit of nothing. All right. So if you're in the flesh, you're gonna make rash decisions, man. You're in the flesh, man. You get angry. 
you're overcome by, you know what I'm saying, your emotions, how you feel in the moment, you know. You might cut somebody out, you might punch somebody, you might you might punch, you might, you might damage your car, whatever, man. You, and then you look back at it, you might broke your fucking TV. Now you gotta buy a whole, buy whole another fucking TV because you because you got all angry at the situation, whatever situation, you know. You you don't broke you you you, you don't damage the good relationships, you know, by 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 you know what I'm saying not not keeping a cool head, man. You know you damage a friendship or, or you know you in a relationship with the parent or you know uh, you do irre irreversible damage. Right, by not being wise, not being, you know what I'm saying, circumspect, man. You know. Okay, so it says. Um, it says uh, Romans twelve and uh, nineteen says, "Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath." But his raised and vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. It says, Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink, for in doing so thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Yeah. So hey, sometimes you gotta overcome evil with good, man. You know? And when you overcome evil with good, man, you may even gain a friend, man. You may gain a friend, you might gain a, you know what I'm saying? Just because somebody's being hostile to you. That's a lesson that you teach your son, your daughter. Just because somebody's being hostile with you, you have a saying in the world, right? You kill them with kindness. You don't have to. You don't have to uh, uh, give them the same energy they give you. Fall into the same trap. That's simple-minded. That's a simple-minded uh, uh, thought process. Oh, just because this person did this, I'ma do the same fucking thing. I'ma, you know what I'm saying? I'ma boom, boom, boom. Right? I have to respond. In, in a 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 adverse manner that's gonna um that's gonna um mess up you know what i'm saying your your your, your life or the person's life man it's gonna cause a, a bad situation now you now you end up locked up because you wasn't thinking now you end up without a job because you wasn't thinking now you end up with no resources because you're not thinking because that the holy spirit the, the, the discernment is not dealing with you like that because because you haven't fully converted into the truth you haven't fully you know what I'm saying come into this faith you're still tippy toeing outside one in foot one out you know or you you know what I'm saying you, you still got ways of the world that you haven't completely put off alright so you know this is why things like that happen because people don't Put their trust in Yahweh Shem Yashai. All right, they don't study this this word. You know, they're not into the scriptures. You know, they trust in this world. They trust in the flesh. So, the flesh profit of nothing, man. The flesh is gonna get you killed. All right. Now I, I gotta get this right here. It says Proverbs. This is this is good. This is good. It says um, Proverbs sixteen and twenty eight. It says, a forward man sows strife, and a whisperer separated cheap friends. A, a violent man entices his, his neighbor and leadeth him into the way that is not good. Hey, hey, sometimes, sometimes I have been forward, all right. Sometimes I have, I be too forward. Sometimes when I, when, you know, when we be, when we be teaching, which the scriptures, is, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being forward, but you know, you gotta pick and choose sometimes. So sometimes I, I do that, you know, and and, and you have to be able to identify sometimes, because I'm a, I, you know, I get on myself. I'm gonna say, you know, like sometimes I, I be, I be too, you know, harsh and rough and saying certain things, and you know what I'm saying. It might cause causes, you know, strife between. You know, my, myself or somebody else, or even when we're out there teaching, sometimes you know I might get angry, and you know what I'm saying I might get angry in certain certain scenarios. Where I used to do it more now, I don't because I'm more seasoned in the faith. But you know, I might I might you know a scoffer might come up and it might turn into you know strife because I was because I you know I got angry or I said certain things that you know what I'm saying that are were in the scriptures, but 
are not exactly expedient to, to go into at that at that present moment. You know, just to prove a point. But you have to um, you have to be able to move with that discernment and, and it's truth, man. Because you know, sometimes every situation doesn't require you to, to a hammer, a jackhammer. Sometimes it requires a pencil. Sometimes the, the situation requires a, a Phillips screw. You know, sometimes the situation requires you to use more finesse and delicate, del uh, 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 more diplomacy, man. You know, sometimes the situation requires you to, uh, you know, be more harsh, be more harsh, be more rough, and it, 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 that that comes with discernment and time. And you know, through the spirit, you know, we, I, you know, I've learned to, to experience, which the word experience means to be tried, tried out, through experience, through you know, what I'm saying, going through certain things and seeing things, and you know, learning. And the elders and our apostles and brothers and you know how how these things work, man. How, man. And that, that that comes with time, man. You know, because as the apostle Barbie saying, repetition is the father of skill. You know, so it says. Um, I'm gonna just jump down to. Thirty-one. It says the hoary head is crown of glory. If, if it be found in the way of righteousness, right? Through experience. It says, um, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh his city. Okay, so, you know what I'm saying? You that, if you rule your spirit, right? You're better than the mighty, and you're better than someone that, 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 that conquers the city, because you conquering yourself, you conquer your, your, your own mind, your own thoughts and your own, you know what I'm saying, your body, you have control over what the fuck you're doing, and you don't let outside things uh, 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 mess with you, 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 you're you a bad motherfucker, man, you're a bad dude, I'm gonna just say it just like that, you're a bad dude, and you're a bad woman, like, you know, in a good way, you know, you're bad, like, you, 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 you you're, you're elite, man, because the people of the world, they can't do that, you know what I'm saying, they can't do that, they can't control their emotions, they don't know why they feel in a certain type of way, they don't know you know, they don't they don't understand. They can't process that, man. They don't have rule over their spirit. Very few, very few. You know, that are into like training and martial arts and all that shit. You know, the the ones that are you know into like all that. Very very few, very very few. You know, that are you know level headed and they understand how the how the dynamics work between people and shit like that. All right, but even then, they're not spiritual. They just. <laughs> they just come at it at a, at a, in a carnal sense, you know. They're not spiritual with it. Now, uh, it says Proverbs twenty-five and twenty-eight. It says, "He that had no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down and without walls." Right? You have no protection. You have no guide. You're not strong, man. Okay. If you if you if you um if you have no rule of your spirit, man, because anybody could anybody could fucking mess you up. Anybody, any little thing can mess you up, man. You, you, any little thing ruin your fucking day. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. You know, you're angry. You quit the wrath. Quit, just quit the wrath, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just quit the fucking. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck are you? How the fuck are you have any healthy relationships or any healthy like? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh. If, if, if every fucking thing just, you know what I'm saying, every everything hurts you, you, you fucking hate every fucking thing, you know what I'm saying, like, ah, rah, 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 you have a bad fucking attitude, man, you know, bad, bad attitude, man, you know, you can't walk, you can't walk around, especially in the faith, walking around like that all, all day, the scripture says, study to show thyself, uh, approve, a work of needing not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, all right? And the script says, study to be at peace and to be quiet. All right? So when you know this truth, you're at peace, man. All right? As as, as we said before, right? The wicked are, are, are like the trouble seat. You know, the script says the wicked are like the trouble seat. Have you ever seen a, a storm? A storm is not calm, man. A storm is not calm, man. A storm is raging. Fucking waves, 100-foot waves, man. Just thunderstorm crashing. Well, that's a terrible place to be in when you're in a boat. A horrible place. The apostles um, got all scared when Yahweh uh, uh, was with them on the boat, and the Lord, uh, the Lord rebuked them, man. The Lord said, "Man, what's wrong with y'all? 
Don't y'all know I can command a sea? And the Lord told the sea to calm, and the sea was calm, man. Because they thought they was going to die. And the Lord said, well, you have little faith, man. You know? So, you know, the same thing goes for us, man. You know? Pursuing to the analogy of, of the sea. If you if you if you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Mashiach, you're gonna be like the trouble seat, man. You're gonna be like, you know, you're gonna be going into all these different philosophies, jumping from this philosophy to that philosophy, you know, jumping from this God to that God, this rod to that rod, you know, uh, uh, you know, unstable, unstable. You can't be like that, man. You cannot be like, especially in the faith, man. For you men and you women, man. All right. Brothers, brothers. Uh, one day the name is this. Uh, one day the name is Yahweh. The next day, uh, you know, one day the name is Yahweh Bashim Yashai. The next day, the name doesn't matter. It's God and Christ and all this fucking madness, yo. All this confusion. The Lord says He's not the author of confusion, but of peace in all the church of the saints, man. The Lord is not the author of confusion and dysfunction and fucking disorder, man. The Lord is dealing with order, man. The Lord is dealing with, you know, what I'm saying. That's why the Lord is putting up certain men to have a special spirit, man. To, to be able to rule, to govern, to teach this word. All right? And whether you believe it or not, whether you see it or not, this is what's going on. All right? This is what's happening. We're getting groomed up to be those, those, those next kings of the earth, those next rulers. Because the earth is under bad management right now. That's why the people are the way they're fucking are. The people are just, God damn, the people are just through because of the ruler. Because of the food that they eat, the fucking shit that they see on TV, the music that they listen to, the the, the liberty that to just do whatever you want. Because through liberty, you destroy yourself. You know, through much liberty, you destroy yourself. That's why the scripture say, "Let that keep that child in straightly, lest they abuse themselves." You know, through much liberty, you have to, you, you because we're basically, especially, let me just say it just like this, especially like a like the woman, she's like she's like, she's like a horse. You got to break in, you know. Have you ever seen a horse running around? They're wild. They're just flipping around until you break them in, until you break them in, right? And then they, they're, they're docile, man. You know? Same thing with a child. You know? A child is wild, loose, ah, crying, boo, 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 until you, 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 you as a parent, especially, you know, the men, when they come in, they, what, what, what does a man bring to the house? Order, respect, all right? The kids are the kids see the man they, they 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 automatically respect the man, you know. Well, most of the time, you know, because you got some fucking little little weirdos that you know <laughs> are sorry excuse for men. But anyways, the point is, um, the point is that you have to have you have to have that 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 that, that sound mind, man. You know, that sound mind through the Holy Spirit. Lord gave us a sound mind, man. All right. It says, uh, Proverbs 25 and 28 again, it says, He that hath no rule over his spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls, right? So you don't want to be like that because you have no uh, protection. You got no hedge. Okay. got no hedge man you have no protection you're like a city without walls that's broken down anything can every, anything and everything can affect you all right that's why i should say put on the whole armor of yahweh Yashai, that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil man you know so you'll be able to withstand the wiles of the devil his attacks his constant attacks spirit from the spiritual demon see you know because he's gonna attack you especially when you're new in this thing, you know, especially when you're new, all right, he's gonna attack you, man. You know, you can say he that depart. <laughs> depart is from iniquity, make himself a prey. You're making yourself a prey because you're departing from iniquity, man. You know. You're you're you you uh you're a target, you know. You're a target for these devil, for these for these spirits, man. You know. 
and they are more powerful than you, all right? So you need to you need to call on Yahweh by Shabbat Shai, put your trust in him. Proverbs 18 and 10, the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and are safe, all right? It says, um, Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 15, it says, Yeah, truth faileth, and the and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it and displeased them because there was no judgment. All right, so if you depart from iniquity, right, from this world, you depart from the flesh, you depart from all this, from all this evil and all this shit, you're gonna make yourself a target for these, for these uh, evil spirits, man, these people of the world, you know what I'm saying. So you have to you have to always remember you have to know that you know oh this is look this is just Satan fucking with me you know you say rebuke get get thee behind me Satan you know rebuke that goddamn demon and you keep it pushing man you know you keep you you you, you keep yourself with the integrity and the faith you know you keep yourself you know you don't you don't you don't you don't bug out because why you have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of discernment, man. You know? To be able to discern. To be able to, you know what I'm saying, make proper decisions. You know? Proper decisions, man. To, to be able to move with, with, with the Holy Spirit, man. You know? Because the Holy Spirit is not just some thing that you just... Oh, I got the Holy Spirit. No, you apply that shit. It's so like you apply it um, every, in everything you do, man. You know? The script say, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, man. Deceiving your own selves. Deceiving your own self. You deceive yourself if you're not doing the word. You know? It says, um, It says um, Hebrews 5 and 14, it says, uh, but strong meat belongeth to them that are of a full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So you have to have your senses exercised in order for you to be able to discern good and evil, meaning you have to, you have to go through things, man. You have to lose, you have to gain, you have to fucking, you know what I'm saying, go through adversity, fighting and, and you know what I'm saying? Con and this is a spiritual fight. This is a spiritual fight, man. It's never said it was gonna be easy. Nobody ever said that being in the faith of Yahabashi Masha was gonna be easy. Scripture saying Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, the second chapter says, uh, my son without coming to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. And when now I brought into a low state, constantly endure. You know, constantly endure, man. Because everything that we're going through right now is only before a moment, man. The kingdom is eternal. The things we're going to receive on the other side is eternal, man. Okay, these things on here, on this side, in this weak-ass kingdom, this Edomite kingdom, you know. These things these things are temporal. They're just for a little while. That's why the Lord said, occupy until I come. We're occupying until the Heavenly Father sends His Son back to deliver the nation of Israel. The elect of the nation of Israel, that is, all right? Isaiah 57 and 15, it says, For thus saith the, the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the holy place, high and holy place, with him that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. You see? Of those that are humble, those that have that humility, man. You know? Those that is moving with that humility, man. That have that humility to be able to take rebuke, to be able to take uh, uh, correction, man. You know. To be able to, um, you know, 
be in the faith, man. Because that that's part of being in the faith. That's why part of being involved with these scriptures, with the Bible, with the you know what I'm saying, with being an Israelite. Okay, uh, an Israelite is a, is not just a, 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 a thing. That's who we are as a people. But it's also it also comes with it's, all, it's also the faith, but it also comes with rules, regulations. Uh, which is really good for you, you know, and your family, and your, you know what I'm saying, your loved ones, whatever, and your situation, and your life as in general. These are the lost touch commandments of life. All right? These are the ways of life, man. In America, we've been raised up to low, to no death. You know? In America and the rest of the world, we've been, we, we've been so estranged from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai that we're so far away and far removed that when we come into the marvelous light, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody to wake up and, you know, you put that light in their face and they just like, no, turn the lights off and go back to sleep. You see? That, that, that's the mentality of the people. You know? And, and, and you that fall about this truth, man. That's the mentality that you have. That's not a good, that's a sick mentality. That's a bad mentality to have. Right? That's a loser mentality, man, because you're already throwing in the towel. You know? But I was gonna go um, get something else. If I wasn't, uh, it's because I'm driving, so I just, it just slipped my mind. Uh, okay, low willing, low willing man. Uh -huh. Low willing man, the point was made, man, because, you know, it's a little dangerous looking for these scriptures while I'm driving, but, um, you know, through the spirit, low willing, the point is made, man, you know what I'm saying? Don't make, uh, you know, don't make decisions up out of haste, man, don't, you know? You know, pray to the Lord for that spirit, you know, to make good decisions, to, 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 to as, as King Solomon prayed, man, King Solomon he, uh, he didn't pray for riches and gold and silver and women and all that shit. He prayed for, he prayed for, um, he prayed for the spiritual discernment. He prayed for the knowledge to rule such a great people as Israel, you know, the ability, the, the, you know, the mental stability, you know, the peace of mind to be able to do that. Because it's, it's a lot of stress that comes with governing your people, right? Especially, you know how Jake is rebellious, fucking demonic. You know, that's a lot of fucking stress, man. So the, the Lord prayed for that, that kind of spirit. So you, you know what I'm saying? You follow suit. You, you pray, you pray for that spirit, man. That there's patience, man. You know, patience, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Compassion. That, that's, that's part of the fruits of the spirit, man. Matter of fact, matter of fact, man, uh, let me, let me get this here, bro. Let me, let me get this here. Um, low willing and I'll close it. Okay, fru fruits of the spirit because the fruit, you know, yeah, we get on our people and all that, but you know, at the end of the day, if you don't have no love in your heart, you know, then you, then you, you, you know what I'm saying, you're not really in the faith like that because it's a balance, you know, we're not all about, you know, just cussing motherfuckers out all, right, all the time, you know, it's a balance to, to everything we do, all right. It says Galatians 5 and 22. Uh, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering. You see, long suffering. The Lord suffered long with us, man. You know, patient with us. You know, even though he could have just said, fuck y'all. I ain't dealing with you fuckers no more. You know, he was patient, man. I ain't, I'm going to kill all y'all and do away with you. You know, that's what he said, told Moses. Moses said, no, just stop, Lord. You know, don't, don't do that. You know, because you, you're going to go back on your promise that you made with them. You know, with the nation of Israel, and the Lord said, "Okay, okay, you know, I'm not gonna kill him for your sake, Moses, because they was fucking Jacob so wicked that they were doing all kind of abomination." Right after the Lord had delivered them up out of Egypt, man, uh, let's go back and eat cucumbers and shit. Oh, oh, well, oh, it's too much to serve the Lord, you know. Same spirit Jake got now, you know. But anyway, it says, "But for the for the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith." meekness temperance against such there is no law and they are and they that are Yahweh's eyes have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts 
If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. And let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another and envying one another. All right. So, yeah, I just want to touch on that, man. You know, Lord willing through the spirit, it was edifying to the very elect, you know. And uh, it'll be on to the next one. Shalom and a bop, a bop.